So, Andrew Wakefield in the news yet again. This time for doing basically what he rages against and people have a problem with other charities doing, but for some reason when Andrew does it, it's perfectly fine. So, Andrew Wakefield, who was struck off uh, the medical register for faulty for research falsely showing that the MMR vaccine was linked to autism, uh, used a transatlantic network of charities and non-for-profit non organisations to pay himself a six-figure salary and fund investigations into his discredited theory. The payments in some years consisted of a vast majority of money raised by the charities who were made despite the fact that he founded or was the director of the organisations. The revelations come as part of an investigation by Channel 4 Dispatches programme and the Times into the accounts of the organisations run by Mr Wakefield. After his fraudulent 1998 research, which caused a fall in vaccinations, Mr Wakefield moved to the US. Even though he is not able to practice as a doctor, he gained uh, prominency support and then met Donald Trump, who expressed sympathy with the idea that vaccines cause autism. You see why now I'm worried and what he might do, and I've said this right from the beginning, right from before he became president. Donald Trump could potentially let these quacks in through the back door and do massive harm. Uh, in a video recorded after Mr. Trump's victory, Mr. Wakefield said, I am so pleased we all know uh, where he is on vaccines, he said. I know it happens. I know vaccines cause autism. Viewers of his uh, autism media channel were able to see his large Texas house with a balcony and an, and in, in an and infinity swimming pool in the background. The accounts starting as early as the 2000s reveal his activities have been supported by a web of organisations that transferred money to him, to his associates and between each other. Payments include more than four, $400,000 uh, in salary from Fortful House, a charity set up by Mr. Wakefield, uh, 317000 in salary from Strategic Autism Initiative, uh, which was also set up by Mr. Wakefield, and more than £300,000 on salaries and expenses for him as a colleague from Visceral, a UK charity that employed him as an advisor. In all these cases, uh, the account uh, for a majority or a significant portion of the funds were distributed by organisations. In 2011, for example, Strategic Autism Initiative raised $284 million uh, for which 200,000 uh, 200, of those went to Mr. Wakefield. Much of the rest of the money went to laboratories sympathetic to his aims. They're not going to find anything because we already know what the answer is. He's, he faked his own research. Um, Mr. Wakefield told the Times, I was an executive director of Thoughtful House and the director of research for those organisations. I was paid a salary that reflected those roles. Although the vaccine rates in the UK, which have returned to the levels before Mr. Wakefield's research doctors, uh, before Mr. Wakefield's um, research, doctors remain concerned about his ideals could have a resurgence, which again, what we're worried about and what I'm worried about, because as it's just said there, only now have we returned to the vaccination levels that we had in 1997. So US health authorities are battling measles outbreaks in Minnesota that have been directly blamed on Mr. Wakefield. He has also directed a film called Vaxxed that has accused the US um, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention of covering up a link between vaccines and autism, which again, we've already covered, it's false. Uh, Simon Singh, a science campaigner and a member of the charity Sense About Science, said it has taken years of effort by doctors, nurses and scientists and a more informed media to undo the damage caused by Wakefield. Instead of pushing forward on the frontiers of good science, people have to fight a rearguard action against Wakefield's bad science. It is heartbreaking to hear that Wakefield is on the rise again, buddying up with Trump, starring in his own film and planning and planting unfounded fears in the mind of a new generation of parents. So, you should see why I'm worried that, you know, Trump and Wakefield have such a, a, a good relationship. And if you can see 
already that Trump has denied science, um, you know, climate change science, and has defunded all sorts of, um, you know, regulatory bodies in that case, what could he do to vaccines? And, you know, the programs that fund, you know, giving vaccines to people, that could be a really bad and danger and a possible public health nightmare for people in the US. All because it's based on Andrew Wakefield, the liar and the fraud, who faked his own research and then lied about it. But, you know... And then it's shocking to see the numbers that he has, has gained just in donations. That is really shocking to the fact that for being a proven liar, he can just get that much money. And it's absolutely shocking. It really is. Imagine for a second if all that money had gone to a proper worthy charity. But, you know, um, like I say, we will keep reporting Wakefield because stuff like that is important. Uh, so, yes, make sure that you watched, or shall we say watch the documentary, because we're doing it the day after it had aired, um, about this, because, again, very interesting. Um, again, it delves into all Wakefield and Trump's connections and the potential dangers that could bring. So, uh, Channel 4 Dispatchers, go watch it. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you think.